session, we're going to be doing another baking session with Mommy and me. And? My name is Mia. And this is my Mommy. And today we are going to be making... Ginger cookies. So these are ginger cookies we that already we already made. made. And we're going to be showing you how to do this today. Very easy and it's very yummy. <laughs> so first we're going to get our ingredients. So here we have... The flour. Okay. We have an egg. Mm -hmm. We have ginger. Now you can use powdered ginger or we you can use fresh ginger. We're using fresh ginger today because we love the taste of fresh ginger. Yeah. We have salt, mm -hmm. baking soda, butter, unsalted butter, yeah. sugar, sugar and this is golden syrup okay now the first step is we are going to melt our butter and our golden syrup together in the microwave or you can melt it in a small saucepan yeah. okay. so i'm gonna just melt this quickly We're gonna take so i'm gonna take the golden syrup and okay. pop it in together with the butter and we're using yeah. unsalted butter yeah you can try to get all the um, golden butter. Golden syrup. Golden syrup. Right. Okay. And I'm just going to pop this in the microwave for maybe 30 seconds just to get it nice and warm and the butter melted. Okay. So while that is melting, we are going to start adding our dry ingredients. Now, we don't need to sift anything because yeah. we will put everything in the mixer and get it mixed nice. Yeah. So with our bowl, we are going to first add the flour. So the flour goes in. <laughs> okay. Next, we're going to add, what's this? Sugar. Sugar. going to put our baking soda. There we go. And our salt. Don't put too much salt. Just put a little. Oh, it's going to get salty. Yeah. So we only have our wet ingredients, which is our egg and our ginger and the butter. So we don't want to make this very hot. If you've made it too hot, let it cool down a bit. Uh -huh. So I'm going to quickly stir just to get my butter melted. Yeah, if you have some chunky pieces, you can use a fork or anything that you have at home. And you can just make it smooth. Just whisk it a little, right? Yeah. So I'm going to add this for you because it's a bit mm -hmm. warm right now. I don't yeah. want you to get burned. Okay, but you're going to scrape it down for me. So we add all of this mixture into our dry ingredients. Even if you have still just a little bit of chunks, it's, a, it's okay because we're going to put it in the mixer. And we have all of that in here. We're going to pop this there. And now I'm going to pop this mixer on. See? So we are using the paddle attachment. This is what it's going to mix with. Don't put on a very high. Don't put on the very last one or else it will go everywhere. So you don't want that to happen. So we're going to just pop it on very slowly at first. Yeah. Just to get this mixed in. And while this is mixing in, we're going to add our ginger, our fresh ginger. Uh-huh. And we're going to put our egg. And we're going to add our egg in. Okay, so you want to put the egg in? Yeah. Let's put all of it in. Good job. And we're going to just mix this until it comes together nicely. Let so me get now, my 
um, like a, a hardest, softest kind so you so can So when it comes it. together like a ball, yeah. you know that it's finished mixing. So yeah. then we can stop. So I'm taking it up one speed higher, just to make sure everything is mixed in. Okay. And we're done. We pop out. Yeah. And then. Let's just take this one out. Yeah. Can you give me a quick mix in there? Nice. It looks nice, huh? Yeah. And it smells nice too. It smells nice? Yeah. Do you like ginger? I like ginger. Okay. So we're going to show you what our dough looks like. So this is our dough already done. Yeah. This dough can also be frozen. Yeah. So if you're in a hurry and you can't make all your cookies, you can freeze your dough. Just bring it back to room temperature and use it yeah. again. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now that we have all our dough here, I'm going to pop this in a smaller bowl. So, so it's going to be easy for her. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let me help you with that. Okay. Oh. Nice. So, we already put it in the bowl. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we are going to pop it on our cookie tray. Yeah. So we just have the cookie tray. Now, I'm using an Emma with perforated uh, base. Now, you get nice crisp cookies with even baking on this. You can also use the silicone mats, you can also use parchment paper if you don't have mats like this. Yeah. Okay? And we're going to use a cookie scoop yeah. to make sure that all our cookies are the same size. Yeah, and if you don't have a cookie scoop, you can use ice cream scoop. Yes. So, so just to make sure that they're all the same size, what we're going to do is I'm going to scoop it to the side, press it down nicely. And then I'm going to put it in. And then we're just going to pop it onto our mats. Don't put it too in the corner and don't put them too close or else they might stick when they're going down. Okay. Now, if you want your cookies to be perfectly round, yeah. I'm going to show you what you can do after. You can take in your hands just like this and gently, very gently roll it into a nice little ball mm -hmm. and just pop them back in. So do you want to do that for me while I pop them on? Yeah. Wow, that's a perfect ball. It's okay if it's a little bit too big <laughs> because you're gonna roll them out. They don't have to be perfect. Yeah. We're making them into perfect balls so it can go like at the middle, it can be up a little. To get quite a lot of cookies yeah. with this recipe. Now, another thing you can add to this is you can add a bit of orange zest to your recipe. Yeah. Oops. So we're gonna put them four in a row. Okay? Yeah. So this one already has four. Yeah. We just need two more. One. Oh, so we have four there? Yeah. Okay, so do you want to get these done? Yeah. Can I wipe it? my hands? Sure. I'm going to pop these on here. You can wipe your hands. And we're going to make these again. Just very gently, just throw them in the palm of your yeah. hands. No need to squish them too much. Or else they'll become too flat. Yes. So, while we're waiting, well, so now, we're going to pop them in the oven. Now, before we pop them in the oven, what we can do is gently, very gently, give it a slight little tap. No need to make it flat. It's going to go flat on its own. You can also just gently dip it in a little bit of granulated sugar if you want that sugary top 
for the ginger cookies. And we're gonna pop this in the oven for about 15 minutes at 160 degrees Celsius or 325 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna pop this one in quickly. We already had the oven heated. Okay, and we're gonna show you what we did. So these are our finished cookies. Yeah. Okay. So later on, we will pop this one in the freezer because we don't want to use it right now. And then when we want to make fresh cookies, we will pop it out again, let them get come to room temperature and then pop them in the oven again. Okay, so I do hope you enjoyed our session and we will see you again for another baking session with Mia and Mommy. <laughs> Bye. Bye.